the kind of the middle stage, basically. This is the wow. beginning stage, it's just the line art. And then this would be the middle stage, kind of a half half done page. Kind of give you an idea how we color, and then this is the final product. Comic book heroes are usually superpower mutants with a mild-mannered alter ego. Well, the newest ones are in leather, lace, and chains with some heavy metal on the side. Now it's the hard rockers' turn to bring their larger-than-life selves to the pages of comic books everywhere. Black Sabbath, Metallica, Leah Ford, and Ozzy Osbourne now have their very own comics. When Ozzy's colorful cartoon adventures hit the stores, more than 500 diehard fans turned out, some waiting hours to meet the man and his comic book likeness. I never bought a comic book, but Ozzy, I'll buy anything. Can I have a deal, guys? Vicky, VIC. All right. With the comic, the comics are really got to be truthful. I'm kind of like bewildered by it, because I'm going, well, why is everyone making such a big deal? It's only a comic. Maybe, but comics are a big business that the musicians took seriously, giving input on everything from artwork to story content. Malibu Comics president Scott Rosenberg and rocker Lita Ford showed us how a comic comes to life from beginning to end. They wanted to do a female, and uh, I guess I was the one that came to mind, you know, because I'm, I am I'm play sort of heavy metal, hard rock. Lita even came up with her own story idea, where she comes across a guitar that gives her and her dachshund, Chili Dog, some special powers. All of a sudden, I change into this super heroine, and the dog changes with me. And um, I kind of kick everybody <laughs> Once the story is decided upon, artists draw the illustrations, and then there's a process called shading. Take Lita's arm here, which is stark white at this point and add some shading to it so it looks a little more rounded like in real wow. life. After the dialogue is added, color is put in. Boy, yeah. the colors are magnificent. Thank you. Really bright. And, you know, just give a little bit of tonal quality there to give a little bit of shading. Then it's all put on computer. So, so you can really have anything you want in these comic books if you want really, really blue eyes or really, really blonde hair. You just talk to this guy, right? Right. <laughs> Lita is especially impressed seeing the part where her dog changes into a wolf. She's like my sidekick. Where Batman has Robin, I got Chili Dog. This is Chili Dog. <laughs> she don't look like a wolf, but... She has been known to turn into one, haven't you? Oh, yes, thank you very much. And here it is. The finished product. You know, it's like being in a film with special effects. You can do anything you want to do. You can be any, anything you want to be. The postscript is that Lita Ford likes the art from the Rocket comic book so much that she is going to use it on her next album cover.